congratulate you for your speech. Uh, I want to ask you first, what has led you being here with us today? Thanks. Um, so the reason I'm here today, I think, is because I was contacted about speaking about some of our work which has relevance for treating people with post-traumatic stress disorder. So those people tend to be heroes because they have gone to, into war or it also happens with people in um, services like um, paramedics, firemen, doctors that come up to these everyday threats quite often. So our work is very fundamental. We work with animal models, trying to understand in cells, in brain cells, what happens for memories to be overactive. So that's what we're trying to do, and I think that's why I was here today. <laughs> okay. Is there really a possibility to amend memory or not? There is a possibility to augment memory. That People have studied this for years. If, For example, very simple things like exercise improves memory. So this is one way to do it. Um, whether you can do it with drugs and things is a bit ethically awkward, um, but possible. <laughs> and uh, I don't think that it any memory enhancing treatments will be available anytime soon because ethically there's too many questions involved. But exercise is a definite proved way because we know it increases the number of cells in areas of your brain which are important for memory, such as the hippocampus. Okay. Who is a true hero for you? Um, true hero for me is someone you admire. So they could be for their talents. There's a lot of musicians I really admire, even though I'm a scientist. There are scientists I admire as well. Or they could be someone very close to you that you admire qualities that they have, whether they're brave or leaders. And I think there's, there's different meanings for everybody. So everyone can find their own heroes to aspire to be like, I think. Explain us about the feeling of being on the stage of TEDx. It was great. It's very different from a normal kind of science talk that I do because everyone is talking about such different things but united by this really interesting theme so you get to see lots of different ways people are approaching an area and um, the audience is quite different as well. They're not going to have any nasty specific science questions at the end for me but more people are genuinely interested to know what's going on in the world and how can we talk about it and learn from it. So I think it's a great forum for ideas. Okay, and a message for the people watching us right now? Um, be, uh, be heroes if you can't do that. Be super sidekicks at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for being here. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much.